From freshwater rivers and lakes to the oceans, tonight on Project Earth, the groundbreaking technology to help us better prepare for rising sea levels. As Sarah Donchi shows us, it all starts in space. This last winter, heavy rains, winds, flooding, it was pretty wild. Now on the heels of a record-setting hot July, California is likely to face another intense winter, driven by a strong El Nino and unusually warm ocean waters. But way up high, circling the Earth, there's a groundbreaking difference. Engine ignition and the liftoff. About a year ago, atop a Falcon 9 rocket, NASA launched a new satellite into orbit. Its goal? to gain a better understanding of the world's oceans, lakes, rivers, and streams. It's known as the Surface Water and Ocean Topography Mission, or SWAT for short. It's an amazing tool. It basically can look at how much water is changing over the entire globe. Meteorologist Marina Jurica would know. She was part of the team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory involved in the mission. I was able to travel to Alaska and to Oregon and help not only show the work that's being done, but put in river gauges, which is a very laborious process, I'll tell you, so that once the satellite was launched, it could get the data from those rivers and from those lakes and reservoirs and make sure that it was accurate so that we knew that SWAT was working perfectly because we are comparing it to all of these gauges that we put not only in America, but all over the world. The big picture. Currently, Marina is also forecasting for our sister station, KCAL News in Los Angeles. We asked her what makes the SWAT mission so different from the others. It's all about a new kind of radar. We like to say if you're putting on a pair of glasses and something that was blurry before now becomes very clear. So the resolution and the fine detail at the coastline is unprecedented. And that, of course, is extremely important for California as we move forward in what we need to plan with the future of sea level rise and how that is affecting us here, especially in this state. The satellite will measure the height of nearly all the water on the Earth's surface. NASA just released this visualization of SWAT's first full 21-day orbit that ended mid-August. The red and orange areas indicate ocean water that's higher than average. As to why, NASA scientists are clear sea levels are rising as a result of human-caused global warming. Ice sheets and glaciers are melting, and the expanding seawater is warming. Events such as El Nino could accelerate sea level rise by up to a foot. The hope that this mission will help coastal communities and governments take the science more seriously. Well, I hope just putting the information in their hands will make it very prevalent to what steps they need to take. Do we need to raise our seawalls? Do we need to protect bays and estuaries? I know in San Francisco, sea level rise would create huge problems for that area. And so the rate of sea level rise, which is what SWAT is going to forecast, will be able to make what changes Changes need to be made immediately happen. Tracking the world's water in hopes to better plan for a warming planet.